Two local high schools look to advance in Lakeshore Public Media's annual academic tournament that we call Making the Grade. And today we welcome South Central and Hobart. Let's have some fun. We're 15 seconds away from Making the Grade. Lakeshore Public Media and Making the Grade are supported by Chick-fil-A, proudly serving our Northwest Indiana community, helping to support education and developing young minds. This public service announcement is brought to you by NIPSCO. Hitting an underground utility line while digging may cause serious injuries, disrupt service, and result in a fine. Call 811 two business days in advance of digging to have lines marked. It's the 2016 edition of Lakeshore Public Media's annual academic tournament that we call Making the Grade. Hello, I'm your host, Andy Schultz. Glad to be with you today. Today, eight of the best and brightest students in all of Northwest Indiana are gonna go at it to advance to our championship round. Of course, the goal, the Making the Grade championship trophy and scholarship money provided by NIPSCO. We'll meet our contestants in just a few moments, but we're gonna get this game started and some points on the board right away in our first round that we call Question and Answer. Simple format, I ask the questions, you give the answers. Five points for each correct answer, no penalty. If you're incorrect, we'll just give the other team a shot at those points. Let's get ready with those five point clues. Hands on buzzers. Its parts include the lysosome, the vacuole, the mitochondria, and the nucleus. Name this smallest unit of any Danny from Hobart. Uh, the cell. Cell is correct, five points, and Hobart is on the board first. Name this specific category of art practiced by 20th century artists Luis Nevelson, Henry Moore, Alberto Giacometti, Klaus Oldenburg, and Konstantin Brancusi. Ailey from Hobart. Surrealism? Uh, not surrealism. South Central, you want to take a shot at this? Nick. Impressionism? Uh, not impressionism. We are looking for sculpture. These were all sculptors. No problem, no points lost there, we keep it rolling. In geometry, it is a line that connects any vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. Give this math term representing the 50th percentile of a large data set that in a data set of nine points is equal to the fifth highest value. Hey, Ailey was just in time. Median? It is the median, that's correct for five points, and Hobart on the board again. His memorial says, I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. Name this U.S. president who sent Lewis and Clark on their voyage of discovery to the West. Liam from South Central. Thomas Jefferson. Is correct for five points, nice job, South Central on the board. Another five point clue. Newcomer Shanice Williams starred as Dorothy in the 2015 television version of what Broadway musical? Ailey from Hobart. The Wiz. Is correct for five more points for the Brickies. What nation, governed by the Mughal Empire in the Middle Ages, has been independent since 1947 after spending Liam from South Central? India. That is correct, India for five points. His website, hatrack.com, lists his works. Name this American sci-fi author whose novel, Speaker of the Dead, is a sequel to his classic book, Ender's Game. We were looking for Orson Scott Card. Orson Scott Card. Your speech may slow down or stop as this ailment develops, and you may become so rigid that you have trouble swinging your arms when you walk. Identify this disease named for the 19th century British doctor who called it the shaking palsy for the hand tremors it causes. Danny from Hobart. Cerebral palsy? Uh, that is incorrect. We'll give South Central a chance at these points. Wyatt. Uh, Parkinson's? Parkinson's disease is correct. Five points for South Central and I believe we're tied. That's correct. Five more here. Which state forms the western border of Arkansas? Uh, 
Liam, just in time from South Central. Oklahoma? Oklahoma is correct. Can you sing it now? All right, now. <laughs> Five points, that's what matters. Often performed at the same time, a car gets a new set of tires. It keeps the tires wearing evenly. Identify this car repair process that keeps the car from pulling or driving in a non-straight line. Nick from South Central. Alignment. Alignment is correct. Five more points and South Central <laughs> jumps into the lead. I believe that's it for our first round of play as we're gonna take a moment to meet our contestants in what we call Meet the Class. We'll start on the South Central side of things and we're talking to Wyatt who's a senior. Wyatt, you told me before the show that you like the outdoors. What's your favorite activity? I don't want to limit it to one, but I like swimming, hunting, hiking, fishing, that's all good. that stuff. That's good. Keep busy then. Oh yeah. Have you been enjoying the cold weather so far this year? I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect answer. Nice job. Appreciate it. Ben is a junior at South Central and you are a black belt in Taekwondo. Yes, I am. That's a huge, uh, huge accomplishment. How many years does something like that take? Uh, three, four years. All right. And so, of course, it's easy for me to say I'm going to watch out for you, right? Oh, yeah. You probably wouldn't beat me up, would you? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good answer. I like that. That's good. Nick is a junior at South Central High School, and you play multiple sports. You play football, some defensive line, and track as well, right? What yep. do you do on the track team? I throw shot put and discus. And what's your personal best on the shot put? Uh, it's around 35 feet. That's pretty good. That's yeah, nice. It's all right. It's all right. That's more than I would do, for sure. And that's more than a lot of us would do, I think. I'm looking around the room. You, uh, you that's great. I appreciate that. So good, well-rounded. And Liam's a junior at South Central High School. You said you enjoy the outdoors, but you also enjoy fantasy literature and something that you said specifically high fantasy literature. So what is that about? Oh, it's a specific genre. It differs from like sci-fi. And then like, it's, it's uh, like basically like J.R. Tolkien and okay. that kind of thing. So like long books. Oh yeah. I don't know if I have the patience for that. Like over a thousand you're, more You're better pages. than I am. That's awesome. Very good. Congrats <laughs> uh, on being here South Central and good luck the rest of the game. The satellites are coached by Dave Horn. As we head over to the Hobart side, we're talking to Kayla who is a senior and she's in the band. You play flute and piccolo, but you told me you're teaching yourself another instrument. Yes, I'm learning how to play the cello right now. And you're teaching yourself to do that? Yeah. That's awesome. Pretty difficult? Yeah, it's, it's definitely different from doing little notes on the flute to doing fingering the strings and then having to do a bow. Sure. Very different. That's good. Well, that's why you guys are here, because you can do difficult things. All right, nice to meet you, Kayla. Danny is a senior at Hobart High School. You're the oldest of six siblings, right? That's correct. And do you like being the oldest, or would you rather be the young ones that get away with everything? I'd much rather be the oldest. The oldest always gets the new stuff. That's good. <laughs> I like the way you look at that. That's good. No hand-me-downs for you, Danny. That's good. I like that. Ailey is a senior at Hobart High School, and of course, uh, we talked to you last year about this, too. You're in theater, right? Yes, I am. So on stage, or more the technical side? Um, more on stage. It's good. And so what's your most recent role? Um, we just did a play called Roustabout, the Great Circus Trainwreck, and I played Dee Dee. Awesome. Very good. Yeah. I'm sure you're great at it. Nice to meet you, Ailey. You. Avery, a senior at Hobart High School, and you're going to be going to West Lafayette. Yeah. Play at, uh, go to Purdue and uh, study biochemistry. That yes. sounds like something difficult. Yeah, sometimes. All right. So uh, <laughs> what do you want to do? What do you want to do with that? Uh, more of a uh, pharmaceutical research. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Congrats uh, to the Hobart team for getting here and good luck the rest of this game. Hobart is coached by John Brumley. <laughs> we'll keep it rolling here in our game. These are five point questions coming your way in our pop quiz round. This is a one-on-one -on -one competition. No conferring with your teammates here. We'll go right down the row. So Liam and Avery, Ailey and Nick, Ben and Danny, and then Kayla and Wyatt. And then when we're done with those four, we'll cycle it back around. Five points for each question. The first one coming here for Avery and Liam. Some of its steelhead variety never leave fresh water. Name this tasty fish whose species include Chinook, Coho, and Sockeye. Liam from South Central. Salmon. Salmon is correct for five points for South Central and you lead by 15. For Nick and Ailey. When it occurs between a metal and a non-metal, a salt may be created in which the metal is positively charged and the non-metal is negatively charged. Name this type of chemical bond in which electrons are transferred from one atom to another. Nick from South Central. Ionic. Ionic is correct. Five more points for the satellites. For Ben and Danny, name the union of truck drivers 
long notorious for the corruption of its leaders, whose current president, James P. Hoffa, is the son of its former president, Jimmy Hoffa, who mysteriously disappeared in 1975. We were looking for Teamsters. Maybe Jimmy Hoffa is at the Bricky Bowl. We should look into that. This is for Wyatt and Kayla. Often used as a way of shortening a phrase or two words to make it contain fewer sounds, words or syllables, it can be used to avoid use of the entire word not. Give this grammatical term that describes the words doesn't, can't, and won't. Contraction, looking for contraction. Back to Liam and Avery. In the famed Renaissance mural, The Last Supper, the 13 men seated at a table are divided into four groups of three with what man in the middle? Avery from Hobart. Jesus. Jesus Christ is correct. Five points for Hobart. This is for Alien Nick. Much of the violence during this event was the result of Pinkerton agents being hired by the Carnegie Steel Company to work at one of its plants. Give the general term for this 1892 labor stoppage in Pittsburgh named for the steelworks where the violence took place. The Homestead Strike, Homestead Strike, for Ben and Danny. The 70th anniversary of the United Nations in 2015 was celebrated by having landmarks around the world lit up in which official UN color? Danny from Hobart. Blue. Blue for the blue team on this side is correct. Five points for Hobart, for Wyatt and Kayla. He signed off on the Pearl Harbor attack. Name this emperor who was not prosecuted for war crimes after World War II and thus stayed for another 43 years on the throne of Japan. Emperor Hirohito. Hirohito. Back to the front, Avery and Liam. Once known as the Venice of the North, it became the wealthiest city in the world partly because of its diamond trade. Name this city where Anne Frank was living when caught by the Nazis, Holland's largest city by population. Amsterdam, Amsterdam, no points lost, we move on. Ailey and Nick. When The Lion King recently became number one in worldwide ticket sales for live theater, it passed what Broadway classic whose title character always wears a mask? Nick from South Central. Phantom of the Opera. Phantom of the Opera is correct for five points. And that is the round. So after two rounds of play, South Central with a 40 to 25 lead. But there's lots of points coming up here in our class project round. You can work together in this round. I'll read three clues leading all to the same answer. If you answer correctly after the first clue, it's worth 30 points. If you answer correctly after two clues, you can get 20. If it takes three clues, we'll still give you 10 points for that, all right? Let's try it. This is the 30 point clue, the category, social studies. You may work together. Its website says that part of it traces its lineage to the Manhattan Project effort to develop the atomic bomb during World War II. All right, we'll give you that 20 point clue. In 2016, this cabinet department's secretary is Dr. Ernest Moniz. Wyatt from South Central. NATO? Uh, it is not NATO. We'll give Hobart a shot here for 20. <laughs> Ailey, go ahead. The UN. It is not the UN. And the third clue, this is for 10 points if you can get it, all pointing towards the same answer. Today, this federal department tries to keep the country's power grid from disruption or breakdown. Danny from Hobart. Uh, energy. It is, correct, the Department of Energy, we'll take that. And 10 points for Hobart. Makes it a tight game, here we go. Three clues all pointing to the same answer in the category literature and language arts. Here we go for 30. This word that comes from the Latin for empty can describe an unexpected absence of political power. Here comes your 20 point clue, same answer. In science, it means an absence of matter as what you'd find in deep space. 
Danny from Hobart. Uh, vacuum. Vacuum is correct. Very good. And I believe that puts Hobart in the lead. It does. Great job on that one. Like I said, you can make up points fast. Here we go. Three more clues all pointing towards the same answer. The category science and math. This group of organisms is studied by a mycologist. Liam, just in time from South Central, we'll give you a chance for 30. Uh, microorganisms? Uh, we're not looking for microorganisms though, good guess there. The 20 point clue, many of these organisms grow in damp or wet conditions, especially those that grow on damp or wet parts of the human body. Ailey from Hobart. Bacteria? Uh, not bacteria. Give South Central a chance for 20 points. Nick from South Central. Fungus. Fungus is correct for 20 points. And a tight game, you jump out into the lead. That is it for three rounds of play in a tightly contested contest here, South Central, with a 60 to 55 lead. But there are points aplenty here in our final round that we call Final Exam. Six categories, five questions each, worth 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. We have to answer them in that order. The team that controls the board is the one that will choose the category. Right now, Hobart, you trail by the narrow margin of five, so you will control the board first. Remember, we have to go in order in points. So you have the board, Hobart. We would like to pick animals. Animals it is. Here is your 10-point clue in the category. This word starting with M is both a small horse and a Ford sports car. Ailey from Hobart. Mustang. Mustang is correct for 10. You control the board. Stay there or go elsewhere. You can stay with animals or switch it up. Let's do animals. Animals it is for 15. In French, this common animal is called a chien. Ailey from Hobart. Dog. Dog is correct for 15. Ailey, you're on a roll. Where do you want to go? Words with multiple meanings. All right, you've got it. For 10, words with multiple meanings. A container to keep clothes or books in and an elephant's nose. Nick from South Central. Trunk. Trunk is correct for 10. A tightly contested game for sure. Nick and South Central, you control the board. Uh, words with multiple meanings. We'll keep it there for 15. A page of a book to casually look through a book or something you rake in autumn. Danny from Hobart. Leaf. Leaf is correct for 15. You've stolen control. Danny, you've got it. Uh, art for 10. Art for 10. We go to a new category. This largest city in Canada has a new Aga Khan Museum with more than 1,000 artworks from the history of Islam. Kayla from Hobart. Quebec? It is not Quebec. South Central, want to take a shot? Go ahead, Liam. Toronto. Toronto is correct. It is the largest city in Canada. Ten points for you. And you have control of the board. Where do you want to go? History. Uh, figures in American history. All right. Figures in American history. New category. Ten points. Here it comes. This former Florida governor, a son and a brother of former U.S. presidents, tried Ailey from Hobart. Jeb Bush. Jeb Bush is correct for ten points. You get the points and the board. Go ahead. Um, we will take algebra. All right, a 10-point clue in the category algebra. I will warn you, this category usually requires pencil and paper. This term means any real number multiplied by a variable, as in the sentence, the term 6x contains an x that has a blank of 6. Nick from South Central. Coefficient. Coefficient is correct for 10 points. You've got the board. Figures in American history. We're going back there for 15 points. This 19th century president, the first son of a president to assume the office, was marred by a corrupt bargain. Ailey from Hobart. John Quincy Adams. Is correct. John Quincy Adams for 15, and you've got the board. You want to stay there or go elsewhere? We'll go to chemistry. You got it. The first clue in chemistry is worth 10. Used in lead acid batteries at about 30% strength, this strong acid with a formula H2SO4 has a very diluted form that can be detected in acid rain. Kayla from Hobart. Sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is correct for 10 points. You've got the board. Kayla? Art for 15. All right, we're going to art, the 15-point clue. The 1533 painting, The Ambassadors, was created by Hans Holbein the Younger, court painter for this British monarch who was famed for his six wives. 
Danny from Hobart. Henry VIII. Henry VIII is correct for 15 points. You guys are on a roll and you have the board. Uh, can we get animals for 20? Animals for 20. In an Aesop's fable, this animal that works with three other animals to kill food then threatens force to demand all of the meat instead of dividing it evenly. Danny from Hobart. Lion. The lion is correct. 20 points for Hobart. That's a big jump right there. Where do you want to go? Um, chemistry for 15. Chemistry for 15 it is. Pencils and paper ready. If a mole equals 6 times 10 to the 23rd, give the number of atoms in 1.8 grams of water. Things that make me scratch my head. <laughs> Glad you guys know it. Couple seconds left. Kayla from Hobart. Point one mole. Um, we're asking for how many atoms. Oh. Can you be specific? A uh, couple seconds. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> South Central, you've got a shot. Go ahead, Liam. Uh, six point two uh, times ten to the twenty second. Um. I don't believe we can take that answer. You said 6.2, 6 times 10 to the 22nd. Very close, though. Uh, that was a tough one right there. All right, I believe, Hobart, you controlled the board last, right? Is that correct? You were, you were in chemistry. Where do you want to go now? Oh, uh, me? You can stay. Um, animals for 25. Animals for 25. This largest cat in the Western Hemisphere also names an expensive British car. Danny from Hobart. That's right, I'm going to buy one right after the show today. <laughs> 25 for Hobart, and you control the board, and you have the lead. Um, animals for 30. We'll stay in the category for 30 points. This Pennsylvania animal looks for his shadow each Groundhog Day. Danny from Hobart. The Groundhog? Uh, we're going to ask you to be more specific. The American Groundhog. <laughs> That's all right. There's a specific answer here. Uh, Danny, we can't accept that. South Central, do you want to take a shot? Go ahead, Liam. Bugs to Tiny Phil. That is correct for 30 points. I know that was, that was a tough one. Good answer there, Liam, to uh, wrap it up there. And I'll jiggle that buzzer just a little bit. I'll see if that works. Hey, there we go. Awesome. We'll keep it rolling. You guys have the board and you trail right now by 70. Figures in American history. All right, figures in American history, 20 points. This railroad and shipping tycoon now has a Tennessee college named for him. Ailey from Hobart. Vanderbilt? Is correct. Cornelius Vanderbilt. 20 points. You extend your lead. You own the board. Um, we'll go words with multiple meanings. All right. It's a 20-point clue. A new journalist and a baby bear. Danny from Hobart. Cub. Cub oh. is correct. You Cubs fan? No. I all right. Just... That's all right. 20 <laughs> points. Go ahead. You got it. Words with multiple meanings. All right. Five. You got it. 25-point clue. A small organ that may burst without warning or... Ailey from Hobart. Appendix. That's right, a set of material after the last chapter of a book. 25 and you've got the board. Um, we'll go art for 20. All right, you got it. The painting Starry Night was created by this Dutch artist, Kayla from Hobart. Vincent Van Gogh. Is correct. Van Gogh, 20 points and you have the board, Kayla. Algebra for 15. All right. This is a tough one. If f of x is x to the third minus 5x squared plus 11x minus 6, calculate f of minus 2. x to the third minus 5x squared plus 11x minus 6, calculate f of minus 2. Ailey from Hobart. Zero. It is not zero. South Central, want to take a shot? Yeah. Go ahead, Wyatt. Uh, negative 45. Not negative 45. We're looking for negative 56. One minute left to go in the round. I believe Hobart was in control of the board. Is that correct? Sounds right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, figures in American history. Figures in American history, a 25-point clue. This Republican mayor of New York City during the September 11th attacks left office after being named Time Magazine's Person of the Year. Ailey from Hobart. Bloomberg? Not Bloomberg. 
South Central. Nick, go ahead. Wiener? No, we're looking for Rudy Giuliani. Rudolph Giuliani. Okay. Hobart, you still have the board. We'll do figures in American history. It's a 30-point clue. This Tennessee folk hero called the king of the wild frontier lost a congressional election in 1834 and then went to Texas where he died at the Alamo. Wyatt from South Central. Davy Crockett. Is correct. 30 points for South Central. You're up to 150, but that is our game. And by a score of 275 to 150, Hobart is moving on to the semifinal round. Congratulations to the Brickies. Congratulations to both teams. We will see you next time on Making the Grade. Lakeshore Public Media and Making the Grade are supported by Chick-fil-A, proudly serving our Northwest Indiana community, helping to support education and developing young minds. This public service announcement is brought to you by NIPSCO. Hitting an underground utility line while digging may cause serious injuries, disrupt service, and result in a fine. Call 811 two business days in advance of digging to have lines marked.